So we now have quite a bit more information about Audrey Hale, the person who was responsible for yesterday's horrific shooting in Nashville. And some of this stuff is really interesting, so you're going to want to watch. The morning that it happened, like less than 30 minutes before um, Audrey went to the school, a former teammate received a text from Audrey saying that Audrey was going to take their life that day and that this person would see it on the news. Uh, the teammate first spoke to her father in less than 10 minutes, reached out to the suicide helpline, sat on hold for seven minutes, um, and then was told to call police non-emergency, which she did, and they did not show up for another six hours. We also learned that Audrey owned seven firearms that they purchased at five local gun shops, and all of them were obtained legally. Apparently, um, Audrey was hiding weapons at her parents' house. They believed that Audrey only had one weapon and that it had been sold and that there were no others. Uh, three of the weapons used in the attack yesterday were of those seven. Nashville PD also wanted to dispel the rumor that individuals, certain individuals were targeted in this attack. That is just not true. The building itself was targeted, of which Audrey was a former student, but there is no indication at this point in time that any specific individuals um, were targeted. So now let's talk about what we know about Audrey's mental health. And by the way, TikTok has me currently banned from live. So if you want to see any lives, make sure to follow me on YouTube, Justin on TikTok. Um, basically, Audrey was being treated for an emotional disorder and it was under the care of a doctor. But despite the fact that this person was under a doctor's care for their mental health, they were still able to legally purchase and obtain firearms. And actually, there's currently no laws in Tennessee that would allow um, the fact that they were going through this type of mental health care uh, that would have allowed police to take firearms away anyways. And lastly, let's talk about the manifesto. So they're still going through it, but here's what we know so far. We know that there were several different writings about other locations throughout Nashville. There were talks about this specific school, the Covenant School, um, a map of the Covenant School, as well as a map slash drawing of how uh, Audrey had planned to enter it. It also appears that the custodian who was killed in yesterday's attack was just in the hallway, and when Audrey shot through the glass, um, he was killed at that point in time. And it appears that there, that the headmaster, the principal, might have met the shooter in the hallway, and they said that there might have been a confrontation based on the way that she was found. And if you're interested in hearing more updates on this, make sure to hit that follow button. I am a resident of the Metro Nashville area, and I will be following this incredibly closely.